quick video here guys to show you just how little the New Apostolic Reformation actually has in common with biblical Christianity and just how much you can see their mask slip if you look for it. You can see the New Age and the occultism behind the mask if you look for it. In Deuteronomy chapter 12, God ordered the Israelites not to worship him with high places and the way that the Gentile nations worshipped their gods. I want to read it really quick, just a, a few verses. It says, These are the statutes and judgments. This is Deuteronomy 12, beginning in verse 1. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the Lord God of thy fathers have given thee to possess. Ye shall utterly destroy all the high places wherein the nations which ye shall possess served their gods, and upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and upon every green tree, and ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall throw down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. And ye shall not do so unto the Lord your God, unto the Lord unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name even unto his habitation shall you seek and there only shall you come to worship and bring your burnt offerings and sacrifices so they were not to worship the God of Israel in high places at all but listen here to what Robin Bullock says and then I'm also going to let you hear Robin Bullock absolutely admit that what they call tongues is absolute babble Aside, every bird of prey that will come against this nation, every bird of prey launched from the caves down under, launched from the caves that are hidden, the birds of prey that attack Israel, we order you to burst into flames and stop. We call you down in destruction from your sky high and lifted lofty place. There's only one place for high places in this nation, and that is for the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And we call every bird of prey that would attack Israel to fall from the sky, fall down into a place. And we call, we call for the birds of prey to explode in their caves and explode in the places where they are manufacturing birds of prey for guidance systems to fail, for guidance systems to fail. And Lord God, number the troops and number the defense of Israel so many more than they are. Number them, Lord, and let their enemies hear thousands more. Let their enemies hear the angelic host and the army that's actually marching with them to stand with them. And Lord God, I ask you to show the naysayers. Lord God, in this... Now, Robin Bullock is about to admit that they speak babble. Babble. And then he says confusion. 
and he says over the enemies of Israel, but they are they are the enemies of Israel, and anyone who knows biblical Christianity knows that uh, in the New Covenant there is only one Israel, and that is the Israel of God, the Jerusalem above. But he admits here that they speak confusion and babble. And God says that God is not the author of confusion. So if they speak babble and confusion, it's not coming from God, my friends. In this prophetic time that there are more with us and more with Israel than there are with their enemies. We speak Babel, Babel over the enemies of Israel, Babel, confusion in their communications. Russia, back up. Russia, you didn't want this anyway. Back your ass back and stay away. Or you didn't want this anyway. Heed this call. And the Lord says you'll be blessed. Pursue the nation of Israel. And you'll fail the test. For I will fight for them. And in the night you'll see my eyes. Hear me China. For you are not who you think you are. Hear me, dragon eyes, for I will pull you down to the ground. Leave Israel alone. 